Bula! Welcome back to Fathomless Missions YouTube channel. Today, Dan, my sister and I flew from New Zealand into Nandi, Fiji. We are here to spend a couple of weeks on a boat with my family, traveling through the Asawa Islands, adventuring, spearfishing and spending time with family. We landed and jumped straight in a taxi to head to Port Denaral Marina, where mum and dad were waiting on the boat, with a quick stop at the local markets to stock up on fresh fruit and veggies. After spending last night in Port Denaral, we left early this morning to make our way up through the Yasawa Islands. On the way out, we couldn't resist jumping in for a quick spearfish. The first place we got in was out the back of the reef. First time of the trip! There were plenty of fish and plenty of sharks to accompany them. It was really cool to see a school of giant trevally turn up as soon as we put the flasher in the water. And they hung around with us for quite a long time. Dan shot a grey unicorn from a school that was hanging round, but he wasn't fast enough pulling it up and a reef shark took it. In the process it also managed to bite through his mono and his shaft sank to the bottom. There were a few rainbow runner hanging around too, so once he fixed his spear gun, he thought he'd have a second shot at landing a fish. As expected, it didn't go any better, so we thought it was best to shift spots where we may actually have a chance of landing fish. There were a few pelagics hanging round in the passage, and Dan got a shot in on a Spanish mackerel. We're back underway after our dive this morning, heading towards Manta Ray Island, where hopefully we will see some manta rays. It's been a few years uh, before COVID since we've seen them, so hopefully they're there. We jumped in to look for the mantas this afternoon, but the tide just wasn't quite right. The tides are better in the morning, so we'll have a look then. Dan's just gone for a bit of a dive off the back of the boat to see if there's anything there. This morning we were up bright and early to catch the right tide for the mantas and were just over the moon to find them there.
Literally life may. What did we just say? Manta! <laughs> After waiting years, we finally found the Manta Rays. There's like seven to ten of them. So, so happy. Um, we're just getting back up to uh, the top of the Osawas now, so we'll spend the day traveling today. This morning, we woke up in my family's favorite place in the Osawa Islands, Blue Lagoon on Nanuya Island. I chose to stay and relax on the beach and boat while Dan and Dad picked up our friend John from the island and cruised out for a spearfish. I certainly have a knack for picking the days to stay home that I definitely should have gone out. It was an amazing day and they shot plenty of species. Moo can spook off if they see the whites of your eyes. So when lying on the bottom, it's best to puff up a little bit of sand and look up through the top of your mask. We always make sure to shoot plenty of fish, enough for our dinner and enough for John to take back to his family in the village.
When tropical diving, lying on the bottom and either scratching the coral or puffing up sand works to bring in a lot of pelagic and reef species. Jobfish also come in on a burly trail. Make sure you aim at the piece of burly, not the fish, as they're fast swimmers and dart in and out. What fish did you get today? Jobfish? Yeah. The blue surgeons. Nice. Nice eating. Long nose emperor. Very hard to shoot. What's in the bucket that you already filleted? Blue. Uh, we buy sea green. These are fun to shoot. Try to lay on the bottom for a little bit. This was a Spanish bag. Flashes work good for these. Thank you for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to see the next episode where we travel further north through the Asawa Islands to the beautiful caves and Champagne Bay. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to like and subscribe.